So I got this idea from Corpse Freak on YouTube and I ended up taking my uh, already working um, CUSB cable, right? Plugged into my ESP32S2. So ESP32S2. And what I ended up doing is the same thing Corpse Freak did pretty much. I used um, this device right here. And I checked the continuity, which is just a multimeter right here. So I took this well, just to show people. I guess. Basically, I have this on the sound here, and I have it plugged in like so, right? And uh, when these two touch, and they have connection or continuity. Can hear a beep. So we're just listening for the beeps. So that means there's continuity. Now my PS4 is currently taking apart because I was doing this. So I already have this one. This is my Luck Fox, and I have that hooked up, and it's still running. But uh, it doesn't interfere because I'm not running Ethernet PPP, OE PPP phone, whatever. So basically, I'm just running this little guy here. This ESP 32S Mini and I have it soldered to my front USB port um, I'm just using the V bus and the ground off of that one the data connection isn't even used on that but basically this shouldn't interfere with the USB port only for the first uh, 10 seconds of the XFAT payload exploit um, other than that this shouldn't interfere at all I've yet to test it um, I literally just got it to work for the first time and I went straight to video so I gotta get to sleep I got work later but I just wanted to show because this took me about an hour to solder and insulate with some hot glue there um, it's still not quite ran and taken care of this actually popped off because it heats up and it was connecting with my metal so I gotta figure out a method to hide this cable you know um, and maybe put some tape over that or something to stop it from sticking with the hot glue there but anyway uh, yeah so this is the chip right and uh, this is the settings I had to run because it wasn't working with 7000 so I put it back to its default USB weight um, I might even make that 11,000 or 12,000 just to be safe because I did have an error once already with this settings but 10,000 seems to be working um, I'm gonna try it so it's, you know go over to uh, before I go to web browser just to show you here the settings I go down to network. I go to view connection status. We got it in PS4 web AP or access point. And that's just all the settings, which, yeah, there you go. Um, we're going to go back to internet browser. And the 10.1.1.1 is going to load up all my payloads, which is nice. I like that. It's cool. And then I'm just going to hit, I'm going to hit X. It's going to load the exploit. And then the XFAT hacks. This is where, if I do get an error, it's going to happen because the what I believe is the wait time. Oh, there we go. So it worked. It was flawless this time. It was no problems at all. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's all internal, too, when I get this all put back together. Um, but basically, um, I believe... Yeah, I can just reload this. Um, so if I go up and I hit R, oh, that's the wrong button. So if I go up, right up, 